Hi everybody, Jessie here from jessiebanks.com and I'm back with another watercolor video. So for this video, I am doing the Bubbles and Fizz digital stamp that was released this month from Power Poppy. Um, this is for an inspiration, Inspire Me Monday post. I hope it inspires you a little bit. I love soft, washy watercolors and that's what I did in this one. So I'm using all Daniel Smith colors. I'm starting with my background here. I have this part sped up to six times the original speed just because the background is so large so there's so much to do. I just figured we'd go through it fast. I'm laying down clean clear water and then I'm going in with the pigment on my brush. Um, very watered down pigment. I don't want it super bright and vivid. I am going for a super washy watercolory look on this one. Nothing too tight and controlled. So for my background I'm using cobalt teal blue. This is a Daniel Smith color. So like so actually all the colors I use on this one are Daniel Smith watercolors. So that's awesome. So <laughs> we're starting off with this color. I don't add anything else into the background. I just use this color not mixed with anything. Just this one pigment it or one um, one color pardon me. It is a single pigment color. So that's awesome. But I love it. I picked this one up actually like yesterday. So I am record voicing this over on Sunday the 25th. You're going to see it on Monday the 26th and I bought this color on Saturday the 24th if that's not confusing enough for anybody. <laughs> but I tend to, when I go to the city, I tend to pick up one, two, five this time new colors because <laughs> there's hundreds of them and I'm slowly adding them to my collection. So now we're going on to the little bubbles and I have slowed it down. It is only four times speed. It's still rather fast, but like I said, everything's really simple and washy. I am using, this is quinacridone pink. Again, it's a Daniel Smith color. So I'm starting off with that and I'm just going in with, um, just a brush in the pigment. I haven't wetted the paper pretty wet, I've wetted horrible English. I have not wet the paper prior to putting down the color initially. So after I get that pink on there, before everything dries, I am going in with Rose of Ultramarine is my second color. And this is a new one for me. Again, I picked it up on the weekend. So this one has um, two colors in it. So it's got two different pigments in it. So it does have Ultramarine Blue and Quinacridone Red. So I have those mixed in here. And I'm just kind of blending them in and letting them fade into the rest of the quinacridone pink so that they merge together and it's ever so pretty and washy and then finally I do go in with moon glow which is a fabulous color I love how it separates and granulates and has all different sorts of tones and colors and it's beautiful if you're into watercolor you really should pick up Daniel Smith's moon glow so I'm just going to whoops follow those through for the rest of the image and continue doing all of the pink like that I have not done flowers in a while. I had lots of things happen in my world and I am back with a vengeance. So I'm going to get this one done and I have another one for you guys probably next weekend um, of another power poppy, like another big floral image coming up. So I'm hoping you guys are going to enjoy seeing these again regularly um, and me using my YouTube channel again all the time because I need to quit being lazy and not filming videos. <laughs> so as I got further along, I just went through and did them all um, working way faster once I figured out how I wanted to lay all these different colors in. On some of the, some of them as I go through here and I'm adding that Rose of Ultramarine, I don't add it to every single little bubble, I guess it is. I don't even know what kind of flower this is. I don't know flowers. I just know I like to paint them. And color them <laughs> so I'm horrible to talk about different types of flowers I'm not very good at that whole situation but I don't add the rose of ultramarine to everything some of them I leave with just the quinacridone pink and then I add moon glow to it just to give me a lot of variation between all the different bubbles and so everything doesn't look the same and really really uniform and then in between here I've got like cuts but I like where I go on to the green I have left it so that the purples and the pinks and all these other colors dry first so that I don't have an issue of my green bleeding into them or the pink bleeding into the green. Then when I start with my green here I'm using sap green, serpentine, 
serpentine green, serpentine, serpentine. I'm not sure how to say it for sure. Um, what's the other color called? Green Appetite Genuine. And I do go in with a little bit of Perlene Green at the end, which is just a really, really deep dark green, just to give it a little bit more shadow. So there's four colors in all of these leaves, and I just slowly layer them together just to make them look a little bit more, not realistic, but give them lots of depth and shadows and things to them. So we're just going to go through and let you guys watch that. Um, if you aren't a subscriber, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I do attempt to put out tons of video. There is lots of previous content if you haven't seen that. I work in all sorts of different mediums. And yeah, if you guys like the video, a big thumbs up helps out my channel more than you can even imagine. Um, leave me a comment. Oh, the paper I used because I will get that question because I always forget to tell you guys. This is Fabriano Artistico 140 pound hot press watercolor paper. This is, I use both the extra white and the natural white. This is the natural white. Um, I tend to use the extra white more for colored pencil than watercolor. I don't know why, I just do, so. So that's it, and I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.